Hey, good, good morning. morning, everybody. It's Friday. It is. Ah, it's weekend. Friday. We got that weekend <laughs> starting tomorrow. Starting, I don't know, 5 o'clock tonight. I don't know. Maybe starting. 10.01 today. After my class. Yeah, I know. I didn't. I made the coffee, but I didn't pour it. Oh, yeah. This so is after cold. So after we. Oh, that's not coffee. That's it's, sludge. It's mud. <laughs> it's sludge. Okay, so I'm going to say hello to everyone here and also, uh, well, here, meaning YouTube and Facebook. And while Flynn says hello specifically, I'm going to get us coffee. Wow, we got a lot of people in the chat today. This is awesome. Um, Aubrey Kovach is here. Blackjack, Brickanista, hey, Naomi. Uh, Brickworm is here. Christopher Chalice, Cornado, Hooded One, Insane Lego Fan, JMW Music. Uh, Johnny Cat, of course. Good morning, Johnny. Uh, Christopher Coster is here. Mini Fig Chick and Moto. This time with Mini Fig Nick and Molly Williams between them. There's a, it's always interesting to see how many names will be in between. How's everybody? How's everybody doing? Uh, Mini Fig Nick, good to see you. Molly, good to see you too. Mr. Elmo Man, how's it going? Welcome, Robert Zaccardi, Shane Levan. Steve Parmley, the Mowgli, and uh, apparently somebody named Tricky Bricks, and uh, MC Rat is here. How's it going? Um, Laura, uh, Ziss is here. I don't know if we've seen you here before. Welcome, welcome. And I don't, I don't always get to see everybody's um, uh, names if they don't comment or sometimes. So maybe you've been here before. I don't know. Either way, welcome. And I'm sure everybody in the chat will give you a a, a big welcome today. So. Um, Wow. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I'll be back with Pac, man. One sure. So the day, I have to say that this day has not started out great, um, but I'm really excited um, to be here to do the show with you all, um, despite that. And, um, and get to see everyone's builds, including yeah, I made a build. I am. Um, but what happened, Flynn? So my. Um, the company that I work for, that I teach um, virtual Lego classes through, I just got um, a 60-day permanent um, layoff notice. So nationwide, um, they're um, closing up shop, right? Yeah, yeah. So they're closing down, and uh, you know, I have work until October 20 or August 21st, and then yeah. as of then, it's um, that's over. And there were other Lego masters who worked for the same company, right? Mm -hmm. But being Flynn and being the way he is, it wasn't maybe 10 minutes after he saw it that he was coming up with ways that he can create new ways to share Lego and, and be um, a teacher with students. Um, yeah. So that's developing, and um, you'll forgive us if we share all that information with you, I hope. Well, you know, I, I feel like we always, sh you know, we, we try and share... Um, as much as uh, you know what we're doing with y'all as possible over the past like 77 episodes so i think it's yeah. only fair to let you in on the good and the bad stuff well yeah we understand that these are you know kind of tough times and we just love spending all this time being happy with you about lego i think lego is such an escape from the harder stuff yeah and just um i had a great time last night making my um micro build my hand was a claw because i had done cad drawing all day long and i'm like i'll never be able to build this i'm gonna i won't do it there's no way <laughs> and i started putting bricks in my hand and i got a thing well yes i unfortunately didn't get to because i did a lot of off building this week and also yep. um i had my um my article that i wrote for brothers brick and then I just, uh, there's another article, um, uh, a Pride uh, Week article that I wrote for Brothers Brick that's coming out today at noon. Oh, yeah, that's with um, a lot of different voices, right? Yeah, a lot so of this people is. Contributed. Yeah, so the last one is from my point of view. This one is specifically from other people's point of view. Yep. So if you're interested in reading about what. Uh, you know, people are doing around. So you've been busy with Lego. I've been very busy. Um, and, and also yep. teaching classes. And which teaching will not classes. Which not anymore. But, you know, I'm also thinking like, hey, if I can teach classes for somebody else, maybe I can teach classes for myself. So Imagine that. Maybe... I would have loved to have had him as my, well, any teacher, but can you imagine an elementary school teacher? So, I don't know. I was thinking, you know, I was thinking maybe, yeah, maybe I'll start doing my own virtual lego classes and i want to do some for adults though yeah for sure i want to do so i mean i know we do them here <laughs> so you you um well you know for people who want to 
dive deeper or have like a focused sort of thing. But yeah. we went with really happy Disney pins today. Today is Tigger. I'm returning to an old favorite, and if I cover close enough, maybe he'll... I'm sorry for putting an out-of-focus image. There it's it is. Okay, he's focused. used to it by now. Look at that. He's bouncy. That's what I need today. <laughs> um, let me see. Oh, uh, and what's your oh, pen? Uh, Corey, uh, Corey Kinnick is here. What I teach lettering. Oh, hey, Corey, I just saw you made an amazing font with um, quarter-round tiles. Yeah. That was, I think I just saw that is beautiful. Nice color palette, too. Yeah, Patty, I know you started doing corporate client classes, which is awesome. And I don't know if yeah. you're going through a company or whatever. But, you know, I was also, honestly, like, when I really thought about it, um, I would be able to sustain myself much more teaching my own classes than going through a middleman sort of yep. situation. Although, you know... That means I have to do all the other work myself. The nice thing about this was, like, they did everything, and I just had to, you know, show up and teach the class. Well, and I got so. you know, I was an independent lighting designer for years. I did weddings, dance, theater, movies, all that stuff. And I like having someone deal with the accountant stuff. So even my own business, I just celebrated 30 years of Richard Board Lighting. Hooray! Huzzah! I know, right? Yes. Um, uh, I have an accountant who deals with all that other stuff. <laughs> Oh, check it out. So what yes. did you do? Here is um, uh, here. I'm wearing my um, my Alice in Wonderland because yeah, look. things are kind of upside down today. There and is we, she gonna? There yeah, she is falling down the rabbit hole. Right. So she's gonna give me some confidence along with my Bowie Benny shirt. She's gonna. Oh, maybe we'll through. listen to some David Bowie later. Yeah, and I'm sorry if we're talking about this too much, but honestly, like no, I got not the email all. about yep. 20 minutes before the show started, or I know. half an hour, so I'm still kind of reeling from that. <laughs> See? Well, um, he's come up with a lot of kooky things. We've been watching I Love Lucy reruns, mostly because we love Fred. But, you know, I think of him as, like, the latest harebrained scheme that Lucy comes up with. And they're always just charmed and brilliant. And some kooky hijinks nice. along the way. Well, you know. What are we jinx. doing today, Flynn? <laughs> what else is going on? Um, well, actually, we have... Um, I just want to remind you that we got that awesome stuff. Yep. I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so I asked you the question, and then I didn't listen for the answer. What was that? Um, what are we doing next? It's early for sticker time, right? I know we've got... Um, oh, do you want to talk about the challenge that's coming up starting today? Um, yes. Well, you know, the street sweeper. Yeah, so I mean, we, we, usually, we usually don't announce the next challenge until after with the slideshow, but... No, but we've we're been talking the about looking this glass for, today. Yeah, we're going backwards today. So, um... Don't forget that we are doing the Street Sweeper. We are doing a rebrick. This week's challenge, starting today, mm -hmm. is... And I know a lot of you have already turned in stuff. <laughs> um, is a rebuild of this set, the, the LEGO City Street Sweeper. And I co comes with that cool garbage can. I'm interested to see... Oh, what? I'm interested to see, though, how many people enter this because um, a friend of mine sent me a thing on Facebook today that they're sold out of them on <laughs> Amazon. Oh, no. Are you serious? <laughs> wow. Wow. There's been a run on Street Sweepers. <laughs> there's, been a, there's been a run on the Street Sweeper. Hey, but look what um, I just noticed. The Street Sweeper has a green garbage can, and we just got this awesome Fabulan green garbage can. And it's like the little mini. Yeah, mini it's like can. the mini. You could have like Oscar <laughs> the Grouch and Oscar Jr. <laughs> oh no, he had. There were others. There were other Grouches. There were other. It was like Grandma Grouch, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, she's, right. She's no Uncle O'Grimacy. No, but, but then who is? <laughs> There's only one Uncle O'Grimacy. <laughs> now talk about obscure things that about five people will understand. Right? <laughs> Uncle O'Grimacy, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, <laughs> hooded one says, no, you can't use... Right, well, in my Street Sweeper challenge, I will only use Street Sweeper parts. This yes. is true. I'm not going to cheat. Oh, and MJ is... MJ, stop, Bryce. Here. Hey, Scott. Hey there. Um, 
Yeah, so there's, um, oh, it says, oh, JMW Music says, if you have a mask and gloves, Walmarts have lots of $10 street sweepers. Well, I, I will oh. tell you to be careful if that's the thing that you guys are going to do. Yes, we, we got, are we in the Bay Disney Area. We Disney characters from Walmart one time, right? Disney blind bags. We did, but we don't really, it's like Walmart's not usually a stop for us because there's not one close by and also right. Walmart. But there's, um, what happened? I was going to do a blind bag open what? today. Why? No. Really? Yeah, I don't know what I did with it. It's gone. Sorry, what a tease. We'll do that, though. Don't you think a blind bag open would be fun? Yes. I want to get one of those with the colorful animals. What are those blind bags? The colorful animals. Oh, the, you friends, know, the, llama. the friends mystery yes. cubes. We we'll definitely do, a, do that. We'll do a blind bag opening of a friends mystery cube. Um, oh, yes, uh, JMW Music. This is the challenge where you can submit more than one photo. Up to yes. three photos. Yep. It will be a long slide. Yeah, show that and you day. know we're kind of easy. We make all these rules, and then we're like, oh, okay, well. Oh no! But you know what happened? We what happened? had. I think we we've now tied for the biggest. This micro oh, scale challenge has yeah. gotten got twenty five entries. It which was is the biggest little challenge ever. The, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, biggest little mm. challenge in the world. See, so just flew that one right by. Oh, goodness. So oh, we are in, somebody's asking what part of the Bay Area are in. We are in Oakland. Yep. Sunny Oakland, California. Oakland, which near, is sunny near Lake today. Merritt, which yeah. is lovely. Could you do that, Flynn? Could you What's have that? like a scene that makes an animated thing come across? Like I, I, I say a I groaner don't see why and not. then we get this <laughs> go by. <laughs> Don't you think? Sure. We're bringing new stuff to you <laughs> on the building chat. We're cooking up kookiness. <laughs> oh my goodness. We All right. Are. Well, I'll say this without yes. without a job, I'll certainly have much more time to work on the stream again. Remember when See what I'm saying? new stuff used to happen on the stream all the time? That was when I didn't have anything oh to do. Oh my goodness. The golden <laughs> age of the Tricky Bricks building chat. Summer 2020. S S <laughs> <laughs> wow, that golden age came real quick. <laughs> um, all right. All right. So you know what? We actually have a lot of entries today. We do. So we this, should probably get challenge. started. Yeah. I had so much fun going through them yesterday and with I'm my with my to... claw hand at the computer. I'm going to get. I have to get the email up, of course, as you as you know from. Oh, you know what though? Before yeah. we get started on that, we have um, something that we need to do. Like really. Yeah, like this, I think. <laughs> I, thought slick, it would, right? I thought it would be something like that. You're a regular Wolfman Jack with the transitions there. You just like, that was pretty smooth. Again, Wolfman Jack was an old <laughs> reference when I was a little kid. He was so cool, radio DJ, disc so jockey, trouble. an actual disc jockey he with has, discs. He had discs. I did that in but college. And not, not compact discs, mind no, you. No, records. I played Eurythmics records on what my the? new wave. Look, so there's some missing on this sticker set, but I thought it was so cool that I had to, we're doing this one. All right. What Here is it, go. Flynn? I don't know. You tell me. I'm just calling it up. <laughs> okay, so this goes way back to 2008 from set 8114. Uh, it's 11 by 7.5 studs, sort of small. Um, Exoforce. I don't know anything about oh, Exoforce. Exoforce. It's yeah. the Chameleon Hunter. You see the sort of scale pattern there. Um, and it came with um, Hikaru minifigure in silver armor. Pikachu? Um, no, Hikaru. Or Hikaru. Or Hikaru. H I K A R U. Okay. Or, or Hikaru. I'm not sure. Um, and it came with a Big Mac, you know, for 186 pieces or, you know, not many pieces, and a little green xenomorph. Got it. That's awesome. I don't know anything about Exoforce, do you? I've never had an Exoforce I've seen set. Some, I've seen pictures. I've seen Exoforce pictures. I mean, do you... I mean, I wonder. Let's see. It made me think I want to get vintage stickers now. Like, I'm, I'm going to do a search for vintage um, classic space stickers. Classic. Sp oh well, now yes. Do you think that would be expensive, or do you? Think... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you know, just saying. Okay. Well, now that you're going to be a big famous teacher and all. Okay, so here we go. Let's, look at that. I am. This is how advanced. Oh, look at that. This is how advanced we've gotten. I just want you to wow, know. Wow, it show just here. came out of our heads and. 
So this is Exoforce. This is what Exoforce was, is. So, yeah, it yeah, looks so very sort of like... robot mechs, right? Robot bug mech things, it looks like. Yeah, yeah little style. Yeah, lots of, lots of mechs, lots of Exoforces. Well, that's cool. It's turning into... It's been we mech go. week. Mech month. Yeah. Wow. It's been a regular McFlurry. Bringing it back around to Uncle O'Grimacy. Sorry, I was. I tried to make a connection there, right? So I noticed, too, that this Exoforce has very, like, you know, Asian character, like... Well, that's what drew me to the characters. There's actually, it, like, it looks like there's kanji on it. it. It's almost like um, early Ninjago. Like I wonder... Early, early Ninjago. Like, yeah. pre, well, pre-Jago. 2008. <laughs> Pre-Jago. Oh, <laughs> You know, it's funny. There's on this sticker here, it says, um, I'm going to say it wrong, Genjutsu Illusional Power. And that's not actually a sticker. That's text on um, sticker number nine there. Oh, well, there yeah, you go. I know. Who knew? All right. So anyway, that's Exoforce, as yep. we just discovered, along with you. Maybe you didn't know what Exoforce Better is. Better put on a <laughs> We certainly didn't, but that's cool. Pikachu with Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> oh, Detective Pikachu. Oh, our, you know, we talked what? about the the magic show that we saw that our friend Brad oh, did. And yeah. he did a whole thing with Detective P- Pikachu that was bananas. Yep. It was really, really cool. No spoilers, but he, yeah. he wow. Yeah. He made, he made things appear, disappear. Yeah. It would have taken a Detective Pikachu to figure out how that works. I think it would. Wow, your eyes are like <laughs> done nuts right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm trying not to completely lose my oh, mind. Also, on you drank two thirds of that coffee immediately. <laughs> well, I needed something. All right, right Joel Marbell is here. How's it going? Hello. Um, so, as promised, we have our weekly Friday feature today, right? And so many people worked so hard on it. And um, and so, or, or, sorry, somebody yep. said, um, Jace, uh, Joseph Zawada said, insanely important question, Elvira or Morti- Morticia, you cannot make me choose. I will just say that. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot make me choose. You can throw Lily Munster in there, and you can throw Vampira in there, and then you can't make me choose, because yep. they're all, None, like, all of them. Kind of can you all imagine together. a scene with all of them having a conversation? <laughs> I want, I want to be at that tea with, with, party. <laughs> With both Angelica Houston and 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 what's her name? Um, you as mean the as, original Morticia Adams, yes. uh, uh, Carolyn Jones. Right. Yes. Not to be confused with Carolyn Monroe. Um, oh my goodness! Yes. And and who was who? We talked about this the other day. Morticia had a twin, and I can't remember did. if it was her. If it was that her, was co- so awesome. I think it was her sister. I think it was her sister. Well, here's how that came about. Does anybody remember? Does anybody remember what the name of Morticia Adams, either sister or cousin, who was her twin and also played by Carolyn? Oh, Jones. I remember, but only because you I know told Johnny. Me, right? I know Johnny will know. <laughs> I well, know okay. Will to too. really go down this road, the reason that came up was because someone posted a question that Serena is to some or Samantha is to Serena as, as Jeannie, Jeannie is to. to who? And that was Genie Two, whom, and that so was original. Genie Two, right? And that's that's where this came from because, of course, we went spooky. Um, Shane, uh, Shane Levan, yes, Ophelia is the correct yep, that's answer. Absolutely and right. She was. Oh, I like Coraline. That was a good answer. <laughs> she had Coraline, Coral? and then she had um, she, <laughs> Ophelia had long blonde hair, and she had like daisies that grew out. Right, her because hair. that's a thing. Your identical cousin has opposite hair. <laughs> <I know. laughs> and it's, okay, so was it okay? So we're getting o- Ophelia Frump was her last name. Okay, Whoa. so. Is it? Does it say? Is it her sister or her cousin? Because I can't remember. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's always the, an evil twin. There is an evil twin. Yeah, Jeannie and Jeannie too, and then of course, yeah. Oh, but I love Serena. She wore mini skirts and played the electric, a psychedelic electric guitar. And she wasn't so much evil as she was just she like was kind just of cuckoo bonkers. out there, right? <laughs> It's she, her younger sister. Oh wait, now that says older sister. Oh, I I don't know. Mm. But I remember she had like a flower crown. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Anyway, All right, that so, was a long d- <laughs> dark And old that's what we learned about Lego today. <laughs> 
Everything doesn't have to be about like no. It, about this Lego, is a right? variety talk show. About all kinds of stuff. It's a variety show in the in the vein of Pee Wee's Playhouse meets the Carol Burnett. Show. Oh wait, but That's one more, one more. We had to talk about what's <laughs> that mention is. Um, uh oh, <laughs> Alice from the Brady Bunch. Oh! Is <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hoot and holler there in your brunch time. <laughs> no, but, but I know who that okay, is. Okay, so that one episode. Okay, so Alice on the Brady Bunch has already been established as she like doesn't really wear makeup and she has like the hairdo, but she's you know she's like it's very reserved, a lady, but right? She's, she's like a lady. And then at one point she goes on a trip and her cousin comes in to take over for her for a single okay, episode. Okay, do I say her name? Yeah. Go okay, ahead. cousin Emma. So cousin, it has to be cousin. So Emma. cousin Emma comes to, to stay. It's the same actress, Ann B. Davis, playing <laughs> cousin Emma, and she's like super butch military sergeant. Oh my goodness! She puts on a deep, a deep voice. Yeah. Ah, and then yeah. she makes them all go running. She <laughs> marches around. They all have to wear sweats and they get up at dawn. Yeah. So she was a sergeant in the military, but because they've already established Alice is not wearing makeup, they it's had awesome. to make her look different. So they give her like bright red lipstick. Oh my god, she has a Lauren Bacall lip. Which it's is crazy. She's like this like the little <laughs> like bright red lip, and other than that, she looks like you know. <laughs> She's gonna they did her very hair very severe. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome, and they're so oh. happy to see Alice come back. But then, what happens when Alice comes back? What's our What's our I can't Oh what Alice happens. moment? Oh, I don't remember. Alice gets him up at five a.m. with the whistle again oh, because right, cousin Emma said whistle. everyone loved it so much <laughs> that she wanted to leave the calisthenics plan with Alice to do, and everyone just goes and goes back to bed. <laughs> It's so oh dumb. my goodness! Okay, the Brady Bunch, and I oh think my. I was a child when Brady Bunch was a child. Oh. That was like exactly my. Oh my that was God. my thing. Um, oh, Orange Bricks is here in a different account. Oh, hey, hi, hi Orange Bricks. Oh yeah, I saw for oh. your for your submission. Oh, I was man. like, who is this? I thanks, needed thanks that for laugh. Clarifying. I <laughs> needed that laugh. I I can't believe we almost forgot cousin Emma while we're Identical talking about cousin. cousins. And there you go. Another thing. It was always cousins. Like Kathy Kathy and, Kathy and Patty were identical. Cousins. I know why cousin. Why are cousins always identical? Why aren't they just twins? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. So, well, hey, course, Marcos, how's it going? Welcome. And of course, who are our favorite twins? Hands down, would have to be. The spooky twins from The Shining. Oh, well, right. they're pretty amazing. Yep. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I tried they're to figure amazing. out how to do that for my micro build, but it would have just been a bunch of red dots. I couldn't. It would have been too much. Oh, my gosh. That made me laugh so hard. So let's Cousin start. Emma is so let's ridiculous. Let's start showing people's okay. submissions. Yes. Yeah, right? Sorry, everybody. I'm Not sorry at that all. We, we went on such a the Mothra, crazy road. Oh, my goodness. Were the Mothra twins those flying princesses? They were, yes. right? They were yes. flying tiny princesses. Yes. Well, they didn't fly. They. I they, thought they did. No, I think they flew. What were the ones they... But they rode Mothra, so that oh. was like... Or was it Gamera? I always forget. It was one of those. I want to see those. That's my kind of monster those are pretty movie great. right now. Okay, we have diverged so far. It's I know, so we're going to make people dizzy. I'm so sorry, everyone. Let's this is focus. Like too Look. too silly. Look, here's... All right. Here's a nice, relaxing turquoise brick separator. Just focus on the brick separator. Oh, happy little brick separators. There we go. Very good. Right? Just like, just who had happy little trees? Bob Ross. Right? That's who we Darn need right all. now. We need Bob more, Ross. more Bob Ross. Okay. All right. Here we go. We are going to start off with our... I'm going to have to find yes, the email turquoise. again. Turquoise my favorite. Um... Oh yes. Did okay, I do these I'll in remember. order? I Look, I did we'll big see. fonts and capital Okay, here bold we letters. go, everyone. All right, and I'm gonna. I have to do that weird thing. Okay, here okay. we go. Um, so I. Oh, and I gotta tell you, I have to give a big shout out to Moto for giving me motivation. He helped me out figure out to, how to work on a program that has now streamlined my ability to do to resize all these photos like that yeah he was, was really really generous with his so, time yes thank you for that moto okay there's a good so, teacher too he's amazing all right so this is from big screen bird and it's called fun with rexzilla <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow, I love this circular building, almost like the the um, Capitol Records building down in. Yes. Park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, here I'm gonna do this. So that oh, we can so we can see, see it big stuff. So we'll yeah. be looking over there a little bit. Yeah. Sorry, we'll, we'll be uh, looking up here. But yes, that. Is... Yep. The grills. <laughs> I always love finished out thick bases. I think it makes you know it just makes it look that you know gallery quality. Well, and it's fun and cheerful, and it makes me laugh. And and I have to. And even though I didn't get to do mine, so Richard had done gone through all the slides. I was actually was like, oh, I'll do a kaiju with um with our panda Fabuland guy. And then Richard said, oh, there's this one. Yeah. Uh, from with the Toy Story dinosaur. I was like, okay, can't step on that. That's awesome. So. I really love the great. grills in this. The use of the um, sand blue. Is it sand blue um, uh, slope there to make that one building? None of these buildings are really boxy. I, I love it. Yeah, it's really, it's, it's really cool. And a great really cool. photo, too. That neutral white background is, is yep. um, that's a great photo. Oh, it's good. Okay. Very cool. All right. Now, this one. I will say, this is, this is from Brickanista, right? Yes. Brickanista had two different photos, and just so you know, she also has the intention that maybe this is all happening at night, what you're seeing here, but we chose this photo because it shows the details really well. Yeah. So, okay, so this is, um, here is my entry for this week. After chatting with um, Sh Shane LeVan and JMW Music, they said Boy. I absolutely needed to put uh, Super Sewer Baby in my build as they look forward to watching his adventures. 100% agree. Yeah, I agree. Um, I did this interpretation. <laughs> so it is a nano build and a minifig scale combined. Um, a massive megaton meteor is headed toward Earth, and Super Sewer Baby has come to the rescue, even though he was recently furloughed due to COVID-19. Because <laughs> Super Sewer Baby um, is a hero. He was recalled into action and given special dispensation to travel to outer space. Using his Super Sewer Baby spaceship, he blasts the meteor mm. out of its trajectory, thus saving all life on the planet. Another mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And, and I should correct, not, in, not at night, in space. And there's that use of that great piece. We were just looking at that this morning, right? The one um, from Monkey Kid, the, the um, clear offset stick with the 1x2 plate on it. Well, now I, w I feel that was, like... We were just talking with Crystal. I, I oh that's right it's true yes it's true we were that's so good and I love that one. yeah we have that we haven't used it that's cool yet but it's so good all right very is very that a bionicles awesome. piece on the front of the ship there I think that's a cool detail yeah. piece that looks like bionicles to me yeah it does to me too very good oh it's the original spaceship from the first super sewer baby build you're right <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I love. Wow, the, I would um, love to see a gallery of all of the Super Sewer Baby adventures together. I know we need this. I think maybe for our hundredth episode, we <laughs> should do the collected uh, work of Super Super, Super, Sewer, Super Sewer, Baby. Sewer Baby story slideshow. <laughs> Naomi, let's talk about that. All right. So next up, this is from. This is fun. Brickworm. Um, let's get medieval. The roads to Millersburg are very busy on market day. This is so That's cool. That's great. That's I, great. And now, is that, am I mistaken there, or is that cart being driven by an ox? Right? It looks like it has horns on its head. And the design of that animal is fantastic. Yeah, it's what are the clip. legs? I can't tell what the legs are. <clears throat> it's two clips, Oh, is that like. that's sideways built? Yes. And the little, I mean, the trees are great. The windmill is fantastic. I love the decoration around the edge. Like, this is just... Yeah, and then with all those trees, that short, sort of umbrella shape of the trees, like willows or, or something, um, down there on the left, um, there's that three-leaf one that has such bigger scale than it would normally have because of what it's surrounded. This one right here. Yeah. It's so, I just love the whole thing. Yeah, and the water wheel, that's great. I just noticed the water wheel at the mill. Yeah, the, the, I mean, the animals are all done with, uh, like, three clip pieces. It's genius. Like, it's really, really, really smart. Yeah. So yeah. it looks like it's three plates. Two of them, the legs, are a plate with a clip that is um, horizontal, and then the oh, head... Oh, facing down for facing the legs. Facing down for the legs, and then, and then the other one turned up for... Um, 
to the thing. Very See, good. That's what I think. Some of the some of the coolest stuff about micro build is that that creative parts usage, right? Re yes. Reimagining something tiny into something huge. That's gorgeous. Hooray. All right, let's see. All right, so this And there's two is from, there's two photos here. Right. There's an inspirational photo afterwards, too. So this is um, uh, from Christopher Chalice, our friend from the UK. And he says, um, a very English model of beach huts. Not sure if other countries have them. I attached a photo of what they look like in real life. You hire them for the day to have a base whilst at the seaside, a glorified shed that might have cooking equipment, <laughs> but you cannot sleep in them. They sell for, uh, for a lot of money if they're in a certain spot and location. And he, I so, want one of those. I want to go to the beach and have a beach hut. I know. We can to take in the sea air. Right, you, right. You can sit in comfort in the beach hut with the, with the tent flap open. And one day we will talk about, and I think we've actually did talk about once before. About, What's that? About where getting taking in the sea air as being a, a way, or the country air as a way to to uh, make you mm, healthier. I've been thinking about that. <laughs> well, like, whole even, thing. We'll even talk about that. Monty though. Python has like the nurses pushing the people around out to get their fresh yeah, air. Yeah, well, that all came from the Victorian era, and we'll, we can talk about okay. that another time. But, but I actually may be wrong. Our, our beach huts, look, they're not like tent structures. They're actually hard yeah, they're structures. Like, they're like little sheds. Right, look, like it looks like sheds. Daily City. It does look like <laughs> Daily City. That's awesome. Wow, it's really that's great. Um, it's really really great, and I love um, source photos too. Yeah, always good to see like where are we coming from. Really nice, awesome. She shed by the seashore. <laughs> wow. Of course, I'd be like, I want the pink oh. one or the aqua one. I don't care how much they cost. I just what want is the that? Pink one or the aqua one? Is that from? Um... Is that from the boyfriend by the... No, what is by the sea? Yeah, that's from the boy... Well, that's... Yeah, there's one. Sur la plage. Sur is la the plage. name of that one. If you've never seen this movie called The Boyfriend... And oh, you just my goodness. Want, this like, is high art that's hilarious. Crazy cuckoo bonkers with a Twiggy and Tommy Toon. Like, seriously, if you want... Twiggy singing and dancing. If you just want a couple of hours of crazy musical comedy with elaborate dance numbers it's like in the 70s being you know being in the 20s right it's so lots of like fancy eyeshadow and lots of like like very busby berkeley style numbers it's it's a great getaway and directed like, by check it out it's ken russell isn't it ken russell yes it's really absolutely. it's so there's all these like googly faces of of like flapper girls with eyes right up in the camera yeah I, you know what maybe after this i'll pull up because now that i know how to get things up on the internet and show people it I'll is worth but pictures. it's hard to find isn't it uh no you can order it on amazon they oh. have it regular and uh blu-ray which i highly suggest Crazy. okay moving on this is Yay. from cole this is one of the first ones i saw and this is private cabin on the lake i want to go right there i know i want to be there now i love this build i love the creative use of parts i love look the at the boat. door the, the door the is backwards right. is that a jump plate i think it's a jump plate like maybe a jump plate in a headlight brick or in a or maybe in a um technic, a technic brick. brick yeah who know? i don't know this is really um, so clever and the whole ramp is just another like how different are the cheese slopes for the ramp and the sail, right? Your imagination just goes right there with them. Yeah, I, I, I love this. Oh, and again, the the clear window on the left side, too, is stuck in backwards. It's great. I just And the and the bench, you know, like oh, the little bench and that piece one has a bench. Sort of, nice I almost chair. think of it as like a top of an engine part or something that's being used for the eaves over the front door. That yeah. little pointy piece is cool. It's awesome. That is really, really nice. Oh, what did what called. did Moto say? Or maybe I'm wrong. No, it, I think it's something about oh, the right logo. Oh. Um, yeah, that's uh, yeah, really cool. I love it. Nicely done, um, Cole. All right, here we go. So this is awesome. <laughs> Just that old story of aliens kidnapping the president from the White House type thing. No big deal. <laughs> I love it. And that is like classic. Like what? what's the um, Independence Day or, and like or, every 50s movie ever. No, what was that? that Mars other Attacks. One? Mars Attacks, exactly. Yeah. That's Mar a great spaceship. Mars Attacks, which I've had a, a, like, a love-hate relationship with, but ultimately like secretly really love it. 
And mm -hmm. I have to say, that's another one of those uh, movies that the opening credit sequence just like gets me every time with Mars all the yeah, all the saucers going through space, flying towards Earth, and they keep using all these Dutch angles and like the camera swirling around because of course it was all 3D. But it's right, and really is that good. that's Danny Elfman, right? It is Danny Elfman did the soundtrack, yeah, for sure. All right, um, well, I mean, it's uh, it's what's his noodle. That's what that I one. couldn't remember is yeah. why I said Danny Elfman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the the use of the, is it um, flag pieces for the colonnade in the front is really, oh, yeah, it's, it's pal great. Palisades bricks. And, yes. Uh, right, that's cool. And then the little curved, like the curved fence piece. This is great. Yeah, and I then lighting it. it from the side there really um, makes that detail stand out. Too. Nice work, Cornado. Very good. Yes, Tim Burton. Thank you. Tim Burton. Thank you. I cannot believe, you know, we have Tim Burton art so, okay, everywhere. Okay, so that's the thing, right? That the that I feel like um, uh, Mars Attacks for for him, for Tim Burton, was like in that in-between phase when he was still making like really, really crazy movies, yeah. but then right before, like really crazy cool movies, and then right before he got too much money and then like ruined a bunch of already established that properties. That was the thing, right. Alice in Wonderland, Planet of the Apes, Dark Shadows. Anyway, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Charlie Factory. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Anyway, um, but before like Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. So it really it really straddles that line. Anyway, yeah. um, nice work. I love this. We are. Um, yeah, it's got that '50s sci-fi quality down. Yeah. And it would look great in blacklight too. Oops, see, I love that this these are like creating a conversation about other ridiculous things this is great so uh -oh. yay Cornado. dark shadows wait dark oh dark oh, shadows yeah. was absolutely the worst of all of those that it's he should have received a ticket for that <laughs> <laughs> one might even say jail time now there were two photos here and i chose this one because it showed more detail yes so this is from uh fabby fan mke and this is called four seasons it's so fun. Look at the cars. The roller skates as cars. The roller skates cars is great. And I love the little, ch like the change over to winter. And then you can see the summer. Autumn with those is little really cool. Three plants. I, I love this is great. A whole story of four seasons in, what is that like? Um, yeah, 16, of course, because it was a 16 by 16 challenge. Yeah, really, really beautiful. And yes, I love the bright green mixed in with the regular green. And that's something mm -hmm. just in general that you should always think about doing. Yeah. If you have plants in bright green, dotting them in with your regular green so that you get lots of nice like. Oh, flow. and look, he used I was I was talking about that in an early version of what I was going to build is this sort of sword piece to the left of the autumn tree. Yes. That, yes. Those make great like cypress trees. They're really cool <gasps> pieces and we have hardly any of them. Can you imagine? Okay, a micro scale Disney's haunted mansion with that that piece as the cypress trees. Well, you know, funny you would say that. No, hell no. Because my micro scale build was going to be a haunted house, and I'm so <laughs> mad that I didn't get to do it. But now I want to do it. Like it's, it's well, be you a should still of... do it. You should. This is cute. Um, okay, yes, beautiful. And uh, uh, Fabi Fan MKE says uh, 16 by 8. So great. Yeah, it's not, it's shadow, shallow like that. And awesome. what I liked about the other photo you made is it was down Thanks at again, like. Fabby fan. <laughs> Sorry, I was very excited. Oh, I know. All right. Uh, the other cool. photo was down at you know the shot where a tiny figure would have been. So I like that too. All right. So this this is from Insane Lego Fan, and he said they made a micro scale version of Richard's room from Unikitty, probably the blandest place in the Unikitty Kingdom Castle, Rick's room. And look, and there he is, Richard, is, Richard is flying in the middle of the room. Well, I'll tell you, when we first discovered Unikitty, because Flynn's the exciting one, right? Like I'm he's not the, the exciting he's the one. front guy, and I'm like the you know I'm putting trusses together and. You know, goodness. got my wrench and all that. Um, so the joke is that I'm Richard. And I'm right? Unikitty. And he's Unikitty. Because my emotions <laughs> definitely get the best of me sometimes. So anyway, Rick's room from Unikitty. I love it. It's great. And I love that he's yeah. floating because, you know, he just kind of floats around. He does. <laughs> Look how excited he is about that. Yeah, I'll have to share with you all someday the photos that are the... Right, um, Blackjack. That's a great character. The Unikitty diner that I made. Um... Uh, oh, that, that yeah. one time 
which I'm thinking of putting back together and yeah, maybe you doing instructions share, for. Share that photo. Uh, yeah, so we'll maybe we'll look at it a little later. Okay. Okay. So very good, insane Lego fan. Love it. See, it's easy for me to wow. say do all these things because he's the one who's got to turn his hand in pretzels on this micro keyboard to make them happen. <laughs> um, okay, so this is um, from JMW Music called Night Falls on the Republic. Um, I missed the movie challenge, so I decided to uh, double dip and create the uh, Coruscant skyline from the Star Wars prequels. This is gorgeous. And yep, yep. We actually saw some of this being made the other night on the Instagram, uh, on their live Instagram with JMW Music. Oh, yeah, um, that was Shane so LeVan. fun. And then, then to see both of their submissions, too, was, was fun. Yeah. Um, I also, you know, I think the structure of this, the way it's all sort of towards this vanishing point, goes perfectly with that, um, if you'll forgive me for getting schmancy, um, uh, 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 Force perspective? Is that what you're uh, saying? Well, I'm saying the perfectly, uh, sort of Kubrick, um, perfectly symmetrical um, central shot there. Yeah. Um, and I got to say, really, as a lighting designer for a long time, I love the lighting of this. It's cool from the right. It's warm from the left. It's very cinematic. Oh, somebody points out the flying cars. So the little yeah, yeah, like clear. a cab, right? <laughs> a flying cab in the <laughs> foreground. Yeah, where's my flying car? I was promised a flying car by 2020. Damn. Okay, it. did you see the segue? <laughs> Do you want your car to fly? <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, uh, hey, films is here. Hey, films. Yeah, no hey, more films. segues. Did you hear that? No more segues. Oh my goodness. They're done. Um, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. So nicely done, James. Hooray. Um, and yeah, just the photography, the lighting, the build, all of it. Is it all goes fantastic. really well together. Okay, let's see. Oh, is it that time? Oh, it is that time. Is it? What? Oh, I didn't turn on. Look at that. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna take a quick break here uh, from the from the slide. Wow, we're flying by the seat of our pants no is that? no we're always we're no always clock here no script <laughs> whoops it's everybody's favorite time i almost put the thing on logan will be with you in a few minutes here he is yay logan cookie time he says i have eyes only for cookies <laughs> right here right there all okay, right. even these aren't crunchy, but still the sound of happiness. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> there you go, good boy. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Always makes me happy. And it's... he says, bacon, yum. These are like duck and bacon. <laughs> They're super fancy. Okay, here we go. Back to the slideshow. Sava de canard avec bacon. Although you wouldn't say bacon that way. Oh, I thought I told it to... Um... Oh, you went the other way? Well, Let's no, see. I thought I We're told gonna it have a to, review. to start again when I, came, when I came back. But you know what? We can, that's fine. We can just... Uh, We're going to have a review. We'll just do a little, quick review of all Look of the things. Look how super different these all are. And for being micro scale, there's a lot of different scales here. Oh, Cornado's going? Oh, no. All right. Bye, Cornado. It was great to see you. Thanks for coming by and turning in an awesome piece. Okay, here we my go. This goodness. is bananas. This is from Christopher Coster. I present Micropolis, an urban downtown setting that is growing at a rapid pace. Being an mm. architect, I love cities along the waterfront like Vancouver, New York, and San Francisco, so I tried to recreate this urban scale in modern colorful buildings with a slight futuristic mode of transportation with monorails in my downtown. I added a few colorful tiles for some extra hidden gems. Uh, and then in quotes it says, we are a united colorful world. It's just great. This it's, is... The buildings are so varied. I love the scale. He's got almost like a, like a theatrical psych on the back with those tall buildings. It's stunning. It is stunning, Christopher, really. This is just... Um, yeah, like w so well done. I can't. And while even. it's not on the water, <laughs> um, so I lived in Berlin for 14 months. I had the great pleasure of doing that. It reminds me of Potsdamer Platz because it's these modern buildings. And at the time, it was uh, what 2005. There were all these cranes everywhere, um, and very colorful buildings. I love it. And so he and he says it was all built in studio. 
Wow, this wow, is wow! It's really, it's really, really beautiful. So I beautiful. wonder, did you, um, did you make a bunch of sub builds and then assemble them all? What do you, yeah, what do you I think? think? It's really, it's so gorgeous. I especially like that, um, the spiral building, the spiral mint colored building, or light green. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention real What's quick. That? Um, just. We are totally we are totally okay with people sharing their Instagrams in the chat or if you need if um, I'm not sure maybe you I think you YouTube doesn't let you so just let one of the um, the mods know yeah we are totally okay with that what we don't want is people coming in and being like come see my YouTube channel like a hundred times spamming the chat like that's you know. Not what we want, but like right, if people, but, but we want sharing people, your work on Instagram, that's awesome. That's why we're here, right? That's why we're sharing each other's builds. Like we want to mm -hmm. um, everybody to um, uh, right, to feel about like we all can of share. our work exactly, exactly, and play. All right, so moving along. The twisty building is like our newest skyscraper, Johnny Cat. Yeah, agree. it's really it's so that's beautiful. some super up to date modern architecture. And is that it, it's a cruise liner down yeah. there, isn't it? Oh, and don't forget, if you are sharing these on Instagram, to use tricky lug, hashtag tricky lug, or, and hashtag yep. tricky bricks in your description so um, we can all kind of like Yay, link up together. Look who's here. Zonker's here. Yay, Zonker. Awesome. All right. Okay, so this is, um, this is from Yano. Wow. I love this wow. so much. And so, Yano, I don't know what you were talking about, about, like, wishing you had spent more time, because it's gorgeous. Um, uh, Yano mm. hasn't been with her collection during Shelter in Place, but thought this challenge was the perfect challenge for it. Uh, dragon Temple. A massive dragon was always pillaging the countryside looking for gold until the people built her a golden temple with a long walkway and giant statues and spires. Now she is content to spend her nights here rather than always out on the hunt. This is and so there she is right at, right at the top of the path, little dragon. Yeah, wow. I like I love the use of hinges and those. How are those? I'm thinking that those grills are resting against one another on the hillside, right? They're really yeah, and it looks like they're. Um, so this is like down here is like that little clip. It's on a hinge. And yeah, then those which are gets on, the so lower it gives piece. It the, that's it's brilliant and it's really really beautiful. Nice composition too. And I love the backdrop. I love built <laughs> backdrops, and yes. I'm a big fan of those star, those yep. star pieces. So yeah. Oh, really, and look, really there's great. a shell. I didn't even notice that behind the temple. The back is like that, um, you know, Venus on a half shell shell. Yes, it is. Big clam shell. Um, and I highly suggest, by the way, um, if you don't use, if you haven't used Studio before, to check it out if you like building stuff online. That's what I'm using to put in, put my instructions for the, the micro theater, uh, which I'll have more time now to do. <laughs> yeah, Yano, great work. Also, I like the different colors of plates in the in the terracing there yep. on the right. That's always uh, always looking good. I got three different colors there. I think that's gorgeous. Yeah, is that mint at the bottom? Or what is that sort color? Of it's cool. It's very minty. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there. Okay, now this is from. Okay, sorry, this was a late entry. No, um, I think oh, I this recognize is from, this. This is from Maraid. This is from Maraid, um, and I, I just kind of threw it in this morning, so I apologize um, if I didn't pick the best photo. But this is um, the Port of Oakland. It looks like you see you see those um, yes. the cranes, the cranes from the port, which were the inspiration for the Imperial Walkers, right in in the original Star Wars movies. It's so it, it's so so cool. And then all the containerized freight there. It's really I, there's so much and and of and course the I'm big. All about that pink and dark pink truck too. The logging truck in pink and or in lavender and dark pink. It's yeah, I love it, and I love the like the little all the cones. Oh my the, goodness! The... No, you know what this is is a major news story because the port just burned. That's right. Oh, that's right. did you're you right. just say I that? About that? No, no, no and that's right. why it's all on fire yes. here. And the, and of course the big ATAT -AT walkers in the background. Yep, presiding over everything. I love like almost a Maersk ship in the background. Yeah, it's real. I I really love it. Yes, and there is like I I wish I had the other picture, but there is actually a container ship in the back, which is what you're seeing. Those colorful, colorful bricks in the back right? are like on a container ship. So um, really, really, really. Yeah, cool, cool. micro scale and. Am I right here? Is this like stacked on various 
I've never seen a plate tumble before. I know it's cool. It though. is. It's I a like plate it. tumble. It's like big <laughs> color blocking. Um, oh, and I want that. Wait, there was something. The um, wait, there was something back here in the chat that I wanted to um, to point out, and now I forgot what it was. Darn it all. What was that? Um, oh, Big Screen Bird just showed up. Hi, welcome, Big Screen Bird. And I can't believe you just said it was a terrible build. It was amazing, and no. we all laughed. We <laughs> loved the Toy Story. Yeah, um, the that Toy was Story great. Guy. It was awesome. We had, we, super fun. It made me, it was, I think, the first one I saw when I started going through the slides after work, and I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm off work. And it made me so happy. It gave you the, um, the, the just the ability to yeah, move it, on, right? Buoyed my spirits. It, it did. All right. Okay, so this is from um, Matt English. Um, and he, they, uh, this is Matt and Molly actually together. And oh yes, yeah. now is... but they each did, um, they each did their own builds. Okay. This so is tell, this, tell this is Matt's. This. Well, this is Matt's build, and there's also a behind the scenes shot afterwards. Okay. So yeah, so here is the micro scale build. I love it. The like the city with the part of it that sort of juts out over top of the water in the grayscale is so like almost um almost brutalist architecture yeah and it look well and it also it looks at the same time it's shaped kind of like a battleship it has sort of a battleship feeling to it even though like do you know what i'm saying yeah like, well, with the, the shape well and everything. i mean with the conning tower right yeah and the and the yeah the the brickwork is beautiful and i i just I love it. And the lighting is really good. And we're going to see how he did this high contrast lighting in a second, too. Oh, right. All right. So here, so this is the... Um, is he, it, did it have a name? I don't, oh, it just said castle. But, yeah. It's a castle. And then here is him taking a picture. Get that. See? That's awesome. Look, and he's not even using a phone. Like, he's using a proper camera. Yeah, proper proper camera. So he has control over depth of field. But he's using the, the sun as his key light. There's no better light than the sun. Very nice. Hooray. Yeah, so there's a there's a nice, like, tip for you on taking photos. So that... Look at that. That's this. what he got from that. Really nice. Just the way he turned it and put the sun as a, like, three-quarter backlight. Yeah, I love it. Very cool. Pushes up glasses about... Okay, up. so this is from MC Rat, and it is a mini train and train station. I love the train. Hey, it's how so about that, Zonker? Cute. Zonker makes micro trains too. It's so cute, and I love the use of the Technic brick as like windows on the side of this the train station, like very modern round windows. Yeah, and the is that just a regular one by two plate that um, here that the smokestack is sitting on? Yes. Yes, it looks right? like just like and, a regular one-by-two And the, plate. the one by one round plates to be train wheels work really well at this scale. It's so it's so very, very cute. I love this. And the grills back there. Uh-oh. He's Logan has lost something underneath of the TV console and he's like gonna get himself trapped under there. <laughs> What's under there? I don't even see. There's like the tiniest <laughs> little a tiny piece of kibble, of course. Um, anyway, um, really beautiful. I love this old school steam engine, and re and I love the just the the simple use of the tiles for track. I just really, really great. Oh, I don't know. Ah, I got mixed up. All right, there we go. Next, no, next. Just the tiniest piece of kibble. It's there. a tiny piece of kibble. Okay, let's. Um, okay, sorry, I'm coming back, but he was really like. <laughs> So this is this is hey, called us. Ocean Scene, and um, this was Molly's first time creating any mock with Lego. Uh, Matt introduced me to Lego this past year, and we've really loved connecting over it. We love watching your live streams whenever we can. Molly also collects Disney pins. Now, awesome, Molly. That's great. Now, it's hard to tell, but that's um, it's dark blue is the water, and dark green is the shore there surrounding the, the piers. Oh, so like we were talking about in our water... Um, in our in our water uh, tips and tricks the other day was having yeah. like multicolored for the different depths. Yeah, it looks but... looks um, they look similar color here, but it's a really brilliant dark blue for yeah. the water. It's, it's... Um, and Molly said as well, if I remember, um, that oh wait, um... it's not the right photo. Wait, what? Why? Which one is it uh -oh. supposed to be? Now I'm very sad. This so, so this 
happens sometimes. I'm sorry, it's not the right photo. You see ocean scene. No, I remember whoever. The oh, person... that's okay. This is Blackjack's photo. So sorry. Um, so sorry. Um, Molly. Sorry. 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 Oh, I, I'm sorry. I remembered a story about these these brick colors too. Um, so this is oh right, Blackjack. I'm, I'm so sorry that that got. Oh, I know how that happened. Okay. Right. So apologies. This is uh, Blackjack, and this is a uh, micro seaside resort town. Um, I would have liked to use a different shade of either blue or green to make the shoreline pop more, but this is what I had available. We loved it. Um, I'm currently yep. working on two large mocks that are hogging most of my building space, so I wasn't able to get pieces from other builds. That's I think this is amazing. Yeah, well, look yeah. at that roof, that medium azure roof with the clean surface because it's one of those with the studs just on the back. Yeah, and again, apologies. Like this was uh, again a really big slideshow, and yeah. um, well, and also doesn't um, and many people have more than one name. Yeah, right? some you people have, your have YouTube name and another name, and it, it we try to it, go alphabetically. It can definitely get confusing. So sorry, sorry but sorry to both of that. you, but this is Blackjack, and then I'm I think sure we can get back on track. Molly's is coming up. This is Molly's. All right, Molly. Oh, right on. For your. First attempt, well, for like any attempt, this is amazing. I yeah. love this so much. I feel like um, you've definitely taken in, <laughs> like you've learned a lot from that. And uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's incredible. It's so colorful. The colors are super fun. Um, and I'm jealous of the dark yellow pieces too. And what is that ice cream cone? What color is that? It's like tangerine. Oh is yeah, that, like is that orange. dark yellow it's, or it's orange, orange? I think. No, it is the dark yellow. You're right. It's that uh, or light orange. As they... Yeah, because you can see there's a flower here that's the no the regular yellow. It's beautiful, Molly, and I love your backdrop. Like, yep. It's just it's perfect. It's so so good. So yeah, sorry, Mo sorry for the mix up, but yep. wow, that's awesome. Orange sherbet. Yeah, <laughs> really, really, really beautiful. Right, Sunker. Oh, I love it. Undersea is so good. All right. Uh, let's now that we're back on track. Yeah, and let's the see. and the the sort of nondescript background with texture really highlights it too. All right, so congratulations on your first mock. You did a fantastic Yay. job. Really, really great. Um, all right. So this is from Mr. Elmo Man. Um, untitled, and I love your title of it, Untitled Entry with Mountain and Ice. See, I was imagining, <laughs> like, you know, the gallery on the wall, and it just says Untitled. This underneath. is fantastic, Mr. Elmo Man. I yep. love what you did here. You, you, So you, it's like the waterfall with the rushing water at the bottom. Um, it looks like maybe we, you were here for our Monday show where we talked about waterfalls, it and seems... what a great, awesome job. Yeah, just working from the low stuff in the foreground up, and that... Like, for a micro-scale build to have that much vertical scale is really cool. Yeah. And I love the balance of the, what are those, um, the little ugly rock pieces? Lerps. Lerps. Yep. Yeah, the lerps on either side really frame it well. Yeah, it's it's really, really, oh yeah, trans light blue lerps, yes, and glitter Can even. you imagine? There's we... trans light blue and trans <clears throat> light blue with glitter. Now, you, you made, was it trans light blue with glitter that you did your abominable snowman piece? It was... It was one abominable snowman who was um, bringing a flower, but the other abominable snowman was frozen. Oh in yes, ice. yes, <laughs> yeah. Wow, you didn't know these. You know why? Because you're. Uh, what is it? There. What's that internet mean now? Some of you don't buy Disney princess Lego sets, and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Oh my goodness. Um, oh look, this turned into a convertible. How did that even happen? <laughs> That's great. I love this. And and again, everyone's doing such great photos. I don't even know what that background is. <laughs> That's cool. That wasn't meant as an insult, y'all. It was just me being ridiculous. What? No. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a great, Mr. Elmo Man, you did a great job with this. Congratulations. We love it. Love it, love it. <clears throat> Although, for some reason, we do have a lot of, of sparkly, transparent blue sparkly. pieces. Well, I did, uh, remember, in my uh, my Candyland piece that I did for um, last year's Comic-Con, yeah. had a pink glitter sparkly waterfall. 
yep. in it, which was fun. All right. Um, all right. Let's see. Next up, we have... Oh, Aubrey, I agree with you about elves. Flynn and I both, I think elves are our second favorite theme. Yeah, we mine, are. Mine for sure, definitely second favorite theme. I'm going to shrink this one down just a little bit so it's a little bit more in focus. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So this is from um, Orange Bricks and says, This is my mini Lego and I made this story up. The story is when three lost villagers find a secret pathway into a waterfall and they find lost treasure. So this is so cool. So there's the little people, and there, and this is the waterfall. From we're seeing it from the side, and so then all the, the treasure behind. behind. That is so great. I love the labeling of it too. Yeah, you know, I have to. You know, what's funny about this too is this is so to me. It's so video game y because I remember the very first time I ever played a video game. I think it was um, Tomb Raider, and discovered yeah. that there was like treasure hidden behind waterfalls, and now. N any game I ever play, no matter what it is, I always search behind a waterfall because there's probably going to be something there. Okay, you know what? I am going to go into... I have um, several Minecraft worlds that I've been mm -hmm. working on for years. I'm going to go into the one um, uh, um, name, named after where I went to Mr. Elmo college, Man. Humboldt, um, and I'm going to hide treasure behind the waterfall. I'm going to make right. a whole new complex behind the waterfall because why not? All right. Oh, this is so wonderful. Yay. This is, from, this is... from Paint Pusher. Yep. Um, and he says, This is the Bullock's Wilshire, a stunning Art Deco building opened as a department store in 1929. It is currently home to the Southwestern Law School. Uh, my grandfather worked for them as a floor walker in 1930. That's so good. Yeah, and in case you don't know what a floor walker is, that was basically like... Kind of like the manager of all the people who worked, like all the people who worked behind the counters and stuff, and they would walk around and make sure that everything was yeah. like the way it was well, supposed to be. What was that? What was that British TV show we watched? Was it British or Australian about the guy who ran the the department store chain, the department store? Oh, I know what you're talking about. It had Jeremy Piven in it, and now yep. I can't remember the name of it. But well, yes. that they had that character yep. in there, and yes. I love the way he used um, one by one round um, tile or not tiles um, plates in trans for the um, for the windows, rather than just using one by two bricks or something with a smooth front, because it gives it so much more detail. All this Art Deco like fine detail. Um, yeah, this is great. Um... This is I love the little vehicles too. Like the yeah. vehicles are great, and the street lamps are wonderful. Just like all of it, and of course sand green, which is one of my favorite. Um, uh, well, colors. and that doesn't that feel very um, that sort of Hollywood twenties? Well, it's, yeah, it's very uh, it's very nineteen nineteen twenties nineteen thirties Hollywood. Yep. Um, really, really great. Yeah, the oh yeah, the carrot tops, the carrot top trees are great. Oh, right, that's what I thought things... was light. I thought they were light posts. No, it's actually trees. Yeah. Thank you for pointing that out, Molly. Okay, I'm gonna. We pour... are all over the place. I'm gonna today, pour apparently. a little more coffee. I could use some too. You want I think. some? And okay, so I'm just gonna be a minute. All right. <laughs> y'all once again y'all are knocking it out of the park like these are so so incredible um all right so this is called from from avernus workshop and this is um attack of the sentinel i may or may not have and actually did fudge the size limit but i don't think i could have made it smaller that's fine um there are eight X-Men in this mock. Hopefully I built them well enough that people can recognize all of them. I love this Wolverine and Storm. is fantastic. I love this. I'll be right back. Don't go ahead and um, And so you can see the um this is you can see the sentinel in the background and uh, with his big hand up here. And I'm trying to see uh okay, so let's see. I'm gonna you know what, I'm gonna actually blow this up so we can try and see if we can find all of the x-men so i see angel and i see professor x so angel flying there i see professor x down here iceman is over here oh so golly right on the left yeah iceman is over there on the left like sort of shooting ice at the um at the guy's face careful this is really um, cool yeah i see uh whoops uh, Colossus. Oh, look, everybody. 
Yes, oh, Storm, of course. Oh yeah, there she is, yep, there's Storm. This is so great. And there's Colossus, wow, wow, so, so, so great. I love stuff like this with uh, with all the like the little hidden um, hidden guests uh, and everything is so cool. The little hidden guesses, wonderful. And I love the Sentinel's face is really really well done. It's so cool. Well, figures <laughs> are hard, big. I mean, but to be able to do them with such little pieces. Mm. Yes, that is Professor X in the bottom right being being I believe pushed by Beast. Yeah. Oh yeah, in his in his mm. blue and characteristic blue and black. What is Beast Ted? Oh, and there's Kitty Pride. I think that's Kitty Pride. Right there in the middle on the brown, there's like a bunch of clear ones because Kitty Pride can phase through things. I wonder if that's supposed to be Kitty Pride. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> What's by the hole in the ground on the bottom left? Uh, yeah, I think that's Kitty Pride. I'm pretty sure. Very great. All right. Well done. This is so great. Man, we, have, man, we got a fun guessing game. Um, and so um, I, I missed because I was making coffee. Is that in the, what's it called? I always call it the danger room. Where is it? Where Professor no, X is, always tries to kill them. It may have oh, been. Oh, no, this is this against is, a sentinel, This is right? against a sentinel. But they did have sentinels in the danger room sometimes, I will say. I heard that point made recently that Professor X is just a jerk. Like, he spends most of the time trying to kill them in his little, well, like, it's danger more than, room. It's more than that. It's more than that. We could go, we could talk for a while That's about it. That's, Professor there's a lot X there. and his jerkiness. But, um, yeah, that was all from the J uh, and Miles Explain the X-Men, which yeah. if you are an X-Men an X -Men oh, fan, my goodness. you should definitely check it out because they are hilarious. This is hilarious. Um, okay, so here we go. UFO and it a can of cow. It is utterly awesome. Oh. <laughs> wow, that didn't take long. Um, yes, I love it. So we've, um, yes, yeah, so the cow is being uh, beamed up by a flying saucer and I just gotta say, um, Shane, that we are, we are such, we are, we have very similar brains. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um, really, well, this is great. So look at the, um, the if it's not indelicate, the cow's udder is yes. made up of a flower yeah, a and flower a plate, piece. right? Yes, and then it's, um, and this is called a flying saucer of milk. <laughs> <laughs> This is great, and so he was working on this the other night um, on his um, on, on his the stream line. at night. Right? It's so good; it makes me laugh. It's really, <laughs> really, really funny. And yeah, the um, the udders are brilliant. I think that's like maybe my favorite little detail of this whole thing. Truly micro. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, all right. And it looks like what? How many pieces is that chain? It looks Not like very. twenty like pieces, five, maybe. Six, which is, by the way, something that I want to do sometime. I want to do like a mini challenge, like a 15 or a 20 piece challenge. And you mm -hmm. can only use that many pieces in your build. I think would be a cool one. There's fewer up. than 30 pieces in Very this. nice. Very nice. All right. So this is from... Um, oh, see, I want to go there too. You know why. This is from the Lego Vet. And um, I'm sure you can guess what it is. Anybody? Can anybody guess what this is? I know, I know, I know. Well, you know because you saw it. <laughs> I would know anyway. Yes, minifig chick. It's Animal Crossing. <laughs> it is <laughs> Animal Crossing. That building in the center back is Nook's Cranny. And look, there's a ramp going up to the upper. Yep, cliff. we've got the stairs. We've got the bridge. We've got the tent for when you first start out on the island. Um, really, this is really great. Hooray, Animal Crossing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I always like um, those uh, plus sign shaped flowers too. They're so yeah, happy. Yeah, those are the old school. The, yeah, ones they feel too. very happy to me. Oh, well, now old school. Now they were the middle school actually. Old school are those flat ones. This is middle school, and then the, now they have the ones that have like smaller uh, petals, like more really? of them all the way yeah. around. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Animal. Always love to see a little bit of Animal Crossing. Yeah, the water's great. Super fun. Oh. Slick. I know. So this is from um, the the Mowgli, and this is mm. called um, <laughs> the, the Filth Lug, Lug Projects, named after two things, a lug I helped to start a little over a year ago, and a snippet of areas I have been to and grew up near in L.A. First of all, let's not pass by that. A lug you 
a lug you helped to start over a year ago. That's super cool. Yeah, this is, um, I, I love the, so we got like the roller skate pieces for cars. Yeah, and on the truck, look, the roller skates for the dual wheels yep. front and back. I love the the building with the flat roof and the windows. That's very Los Angeles to me. Like that seems yeah, very with LA. Yeah, sort of air conditioning unit on top. And, and then there's the pyramid again. Yeah, the little pyramid. Oh, and check out the gray building has binoculars as window treatments. That's super That's smart. Super smart. Yeah. Super smart. This is. Um, and how are those binoculars held on? I imagine with, with clips. clips. This is. Um, so that must be brilliant. sideways built. This is brilliant. Nicely done. Yep. <laughs> Nicely done. Now I wonder, do you think was this in studio? Uh, no, the, uh, no, no, this is the lighting surreal. seems so perfect. It was almost no, it's not a render. Look, the truck on the lower right, you can tell that was placed by hand. Right. Very cool. I may be wrong. And, wrong? I, and then of course the like kind of kooky art deco building on the right. right. Yeah, with the using those um, little column capital pieces. Yeah, it's really it's really really great. Nicely done, nice Mowgli. Work. Sort of reserved color palette too. Okay. Um, so, oh, so this is from Wilfred, and he always writes "Hello to Logan" in French. He <laughs> does. <laughs> it's just, I'm imagining it's Wolf, but it's O. What is it? O A O U A F. O U A F. Version. So, thank you for that. Um, and he says many Logan things. Logan wags his tail back. Many things opening up in Paris this week. Um, and so he's going to catch up later on, but here's his entry for the microbuild challenges, part microbuild, part history, and as it should be, part of my Paris skyline. This is, like, can you guess what this is? Yes. Yes. Yes, hooded one. Notre Dame in flames. Imagine, like, it's so micro, and yet that entrance with the three teeth. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And then he did, what's the rose window? It's just a one-by-one one round plate. It's that like, huge yeah. rose window. Yeah, it is, it is, it is no drama. And, you know, I, I have to say um, it makes me not, well, not that it's obviously not a fond memory that this happened. But no, um, it's so, when I was teaching my in-person classes, that was like a full week where I got to talk to kids about the importance of, um, monuments and and, oh, and yeah. things like that, and and art and 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 keeping art around and um, uh, architecture and yeah, yeah, it was like a, it was just a really interesting learning moment uh, mm. in my in my teaching of that. You know, there's so much smart construction here. I'm saying, and I'm so glad he included this sideways view here. Not only does he have, oh, is that an architecture set of the of the, the Eiffel, Eiffel Tower, Tower in the background? Um, but in the foreground here, he did robot ar robot arms as flying buttresses. Uh, WGJL Productions, how's it going? Wait, how smart is that? Robot arms with flying as flying buttresses on bars sticking out, and then there's a one by two Technic piece for the stained glass windows on the side. Very That's nice. That's really thinking micro. That's awesome. Thank you, Wilfred. That's really cool. Okay, so <laughs> this is from um, this is from uh, Kim Zarakino. Says I built some fairy houses in a garden. This build features a waterfall, a small creek, a few flowers, and a greenhouse. I tried to go as micro as possible. That it'd be hard to get much more micro than that. I love it. The the recessed stream in the pink lands, uh, the, the landscape, the waterfall, and the pink cliffs. It's just it's really really beautiful. Yeah, there's a little greenhouse, and there we go, purple transparent glitter. Yeah, always love the purple transparent glitter. And then um, I always think of mini fig chick when I see mixed media. Like putting this in the plants there is such a adds to it so much. Yeah, it's a I've, giant forest it's in. I do love um, the. Uh, I do love when people put their their Lego stuff within in nature for whatever reason. I just love that sort of like the um, dichotomy of that. Right? Yeah. Um, it's really, really great. <laughs> yeah, and I love the rounded front too. This is not a it's not a square mock. All right, let's see. So this is this This is Zonker. This is Zonker. Oh yep. Zonker. Now Zonker 
by the way, y'all, is a freaking genius. Not only is he like a really amazing builder um, and and tech person, but he just and and extremely patient, smart teacher. Yeah, and he's a maker, a teacher, and he helped us out with our um, with a lot of the programming when we did our. Um, Treasure, Treasure of the, of the Snake, Snake Queen. Queen. Well, he he designed the Arduino programming. He did. He did um, for absolutely. It. So what uh, the the brain that controlled the lighting and sound on it was um, designed by Zonker with Flynn. Yeah. Um, doing um, beta testing and all that. And I got to give props to Flynn too. He learned um, Arduino in order to do Snake Queen. Oh my goodness. Yep. But this is incredible. I and I love the um, Zonker always does the lighting. amazing lighting. I took a lighting workshop with Zonker the first year I went to Bricks by the Bay. Yep, it's great. Um, so this is a six-hour build. It says the design is loosely based on the Menlo Park uh, FD station um, fire department. Because uh, I, I can't read on University Avenue in East Palo Alto. Not seen as the aerial ladder truck parked around the corner, but I could only submit one photo. It's <laughs> we will we'll uh, forgive you for that one. Station three is ready for a call. The engine and the rescue truck are out on the pads, and the crews are having their morning briefing with the battalion chief. All it needs now are keep clear stickers on the road in front. It's great. Um, vintage parts include an old TV antenna. That's chrome, great. Chrome one by two grills. Oh, on the roof. And a brass pearl gold 1x2 grill on the roof as a drain. Very nice. Um, that TV antenna is so or almost translucent. It's really, really cool. Um, on the face of the building, gold 1x1 one one round tiles decorate newer headlight bricks, which are holding trans red bars. Every fire station has red lights in front, so we oh, can find the station. I see the headlight bricks are pointed down, so, so right, the bar so goes the bar in goes the down. hole. Yeah. Um, those newer headlight bricks are embedded into old headlight bricks. Trans light blue one by two plates are the roll up doors front and back. Yep. Um, this is built on a Micropolis two base plate to allow power to the module with sesame seed warm white LEDs to highlight all the doors ah. and windows. And look at the wow. Look at the double doors there on the on the left hand side too. Wow, wow, wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, the fire trucks, I can't take my eyes off the fire trucks. Mm. Sorry. Yeah, it's really. Um, yeah, Fabu fan Mike Milky White is that, is that? Oh, M K E. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've done that so many times. I it's I see it when I read it. M K E. Um, is that a Fabuland piece or where does that TV antenna come from? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I I do know that he though if you know he may have said something that was confusing to you. He said Micropolis two base plate. So yeah, um, the regular Micropolis standard is that you put Technic brick in on each of the sides, and it's usually yep. like a longer one, right, with with several holes. Yeah, now, like I've, I've used a one by four, right? You know, with three holes. Now, what this standard includes is one hole, and then the arches, and the mini, yep. the one by four arches are used like uh, like you mentioned to run wiring underneath. And then the other thing too, though, that you have to keep in mind is that means you can't just use a 16 by 16 base plate. You actually need to build yeah. something that will have a hole in the middle it. of it. Yeah, and and of course this means that everyone making the Micropolis, you know, collective has to adhere to that in order for the wires to pass freely all the way through all, yeah. all the blocks. So they say the antenna is from classic sets. Oh, it's cool. All right. Um, oh, we're back to and this. And that's yep. Well, you know what though, I didn't see. I put I put um, I put Wyatt's picture in here, and I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. I I'm sorry. I have to step away for just a minute, oh, and I will be no. right back. I will right. when I need you to be. Oh, are <laughs> you serious? Okay. No. Well, because I need to look for his picture so that we can make sure. Oh. And show okay. It. Well, why don't I show off my why don't I show off my um, micro build? Yes. You want to do that? Can you can you bring camera up on the screen? There we go. Okay. I'll show mine. All right, so I'm gonna look for Wyatt's while we do while we do this because I know it's here because I just looked at it. So there were a few years that I used to be an avid sea kayaker and I went to Alaska several times. Let me see if I can put this down here with my friend Bob. Um, and so this is oh no okay I'm sorry <laughs> this no it's just the screen moved I got startled there. So this is um, kayaking Kenai fjords 
um, at the face, uh, a quarter mile from the face of a calving glacier um, right there. And it wasn't nearly, the waves were not that high, but it was terrifying when you got close to the glacier, um, winds would come off the top of the glacier. And then when icebergs would calve into the water, it would make waves and all the birds would take off. So that's right there. And I used a control arm lever as the kayak paddle. And I'm wearing my um, red safety helmet there. And uh, and don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, thanks, Anker. I'm finding it, everyone. I'm just, it's going to take a second. Oh, JMW Music likes the um, likes the oars. And actually, you know, so I, I knew kayaking. I wasn't an expert kayaker. I was an intermediate kayaker, I think. I'm sorry. I keep getting, <laughs> here, I'll pull this away. I keep getting in the way of Flynn's view of the other monitor. <laughs> so um, those uh, yellow bushings on there were because we had... Um, had uh, things on the on the kayak paddle um, to put your hands against, and we wore these hand warmers. So that was mine. I had a lot of fun with it. I like it. And um, the glacier water was almost this medium azure color um, that you're seeing there right on screen. I am so close. <laughs> so that's my build. Um, Zonker said that he, he worked six hours on his microscale build. Yep. That is, that's... Here, I'm going to put this away. I think I'm going to photograph this one. Okay. Now, what did so I do So, how are you this? doing? Are you looking for that, for that I'm email? I'm still looking for it. I am still looking for it. Sorry, everybody. You don't mean to... Uh, um... da, 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 Take a da, moment da, da, da. here. Well, golly. Why am I not finding it? And I know I downloaded it. That's so frustrating. Nice accent on the front. Brickworm, thank you. I love... Um, oh, we look, did... we're just a blank screen right now. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. We got a lot of medium Azure going on right here. Yeah, we're sorry, demonstrating... I don't know what the heck happened We're there. demonstrating Lego bricks. Oh, that's here right, we go. because when I, whenever I type into stuff, and whenever I type into it, it does all these, like, cra crazy business. Here, I want to show you this as well. This is, unfortunately, this is largely taken apart, but this is from a historic build that Flynn did, and there used to be these trophy pieces on all three sides, but um, it was a sort of Greek mythology piece, and the idea was, oh, I can't see... Um, that this was like the front of the Parthenon. So I always love decorated bases. They can sort of be emblematic of what the piece is. So we'll see if we'll this sure. does anything. Drum roll, please. I won't beat on the table because it'll make yeah, the camera don't. go. Yeah, please do Here, I'll raise this. <laughs> I'll raise this back up. That is that right? No, a little high. Mm. Well, that's really frustrating because... Well, is this... Is it something we'd want to share on Sunday or something? Oh, wait. I think I found it. You found it. it, right? I think I found it. Yes, I did. No, no, and no, no, I no. know I know for a fact that I did this, and that is that is very frustrating. But I'm okay. going to make this happen. So to further the chaos, I do need to step away for a moment. I'll no, be right back. no. I do. Yep. Sorry, I'll be right back. Mm. Uh, so, oh, okay, so if anybody, um, it, so for the next challenge, people were asking what the next challenge is, it is, in fact, the Street Sweeper Rebrick Challenge. All right, so we've been talking about it for a couple weeks, but now it is time. Dear. Um, it's okay, Wyatt, I actually found it. Uh, I just have to bring it up here on the screen, which is always, um, it's always interesting. Uh, so... Sorry, everyone, you're going to get me doing tech things for a second, but uh, let me see if I can find it. Oh, so uh, earlier we were talking about, um, I don't know, earlier we were talking about something that I was going to show y'all, and now I can't remember what that thing was. <laughs> does anybody does anybody remember what I said it was going to be? Because I certainly don't. We we're like, oh, yeah, we should show you that at the end <laughs> now i don't know what it is um okay let me see if i can make this happen i think i can because i downloaded it and let me see if i'll be able to find it nope that's not it <laughs> wow y'all this is really um this is not working out Here, so I'm, I'm sorry you know what we are gonna have to do um 
I'm gonna have to show it on Monday. I am so sorry, Wyatt. Um, it was the fact. It was because you sent your last one and this one together in the same email, and then I think it just it got confused. So. Well, but we're um, gonna have a show on Monday. We're well, have a show right? on Monday, and we will show it then. I'm very sorry. Um, a big apologies. That's now twice in a row, and I don't like to do that. Um, I. Oh, that was it actually, another submission to the? Um... It was another submission for the slideshow. Yeah, and you know, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty. Now I'm actually really now for you're real, fast. pretty close. Okay, so I'm gonna make me, this happen, darn it, because I'm so not gonna tell you. do this. We have in our vault a number of vintage sets. Um, I think this one was was this a donation that was from, from Drew. Drew, right? It was a donation um, from Drew. And see, let me see. I can't see the screen anymore. But this with this vintage packaging and all that. I think I want to do a series of um, sort of technic and classic space vintage sets um, that we pepper in with some of the newer ones. How would that be? What do you think? There, some of them are go back to the '80s. We have an old um, classic space one. Okay, I'm so close. Let me see. Here we go. I think I got it this time. Classic Space. Hooded One likes the idea of Classic Space. We have a great one from um, Dave Robinson in the basement, Yes, right? we do. We're All right, here we go. Do a here, trade for that. Here it is. What? Um, it's better late than never. I'm sorry. Look what you did. So it's a, the microscale version of the piece that he did last week, the Lord of the Rings, <laughs> uh, the, the Lord of the Rings piece. <laughs> it's just a microscale version of that with them up on the wall. It's awesome. <laughs> I like that a, re a reinterpretation. Yeah, this is really. I like the pieces th that thread through multiple challenges. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Nicely done. So do you remember what it was? You got it up on screen, Flynn. Look at that. I did. Oh, whew. Multiple applications and windows. It was like the Matrix over here. I try to make crazy. things happen, and then at a certain point, it's just a matter of principle. Like, I'm going to make this happen. Yep. Um, well, thanks, everyone, for all of your you know hard work and creativity and, and um, you know, just honestly boldness in sharing your work with other people. I'm so glad we get to do this. Yeah, me too. So now, anybody... Um, Yes. Because does anybody remember what it was I was going to show? I just can't oh, it. yeah. I, well, oh, I'm almost there. I was like, you need to show this from the Instagram. Well, why don't you show the Unikitty Cafe? Oh, was it the Micro Castle? Well, we we did that during buildings, right? Yeah. So actually, you remember from our building challenge. Here's a micro building um, lens. Here is a little, um, if you didn't see this from when we did the building challenge, here was my... Uh, entry for the building challenge. It was a micro scale castle, although it's just not quite as micro as some. It's sort of mini scale. Yeah, it's like, you know. Mm. But I don't know. Those trees are pretty small. It's way smaller than many figure scale. Yeah. There's a lot of space in there. Like, micro scale could be a whole planet in 8x8, eight eight or there's a lot of slippage in micro scale, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, for Plus, sure. We, we play with forced perspective a lot. We love putting microscale in the background of a mock and then having something really big right in your face. Yeah, so that was a, that's a microscale castle that I did. And I, yeah, so I, 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 yep. got, so I remember that, that that challenge was so long ago that there's probably... I know. Probably I mean, 75 shows is a lot a of lot shows. A lot of people haven't seen it. Okay, so um, why don't you show Candyland as well? You referred to that oh. earlier, right? Yeah, so here is the Candyland piece that I did for um, for Comic Con for Comic Con, yeah, and and it, I don't know if you can see, but there's a gingerbread yeah, there's man gingerbread riding, man riding a, a like tangerine horse, and there you can see my um, you can see my pink crystal candy rocks in the background with my little wa uh, waterfall, <laughs> so. Um, and then all my little desserts and everything. This was and fun. The, and the pink boat through the Candyland River. That's right. And it's meant to have little people in it. So, all oh right. yeah. Well, the whole idea. What was the whole idea behind the Comic Con pieces? That people would make their own um, mini figs and then put them into the picture and then take a picture of it. Yep. I remember what it was. I was looking for for a second. Somebody said. Um, yes. Let me see. What was it? Oh, dang uh -oh. it, you just now, reminded me. What, you went from the... No, Yano reminded me what it was supposed to be, and once again, I got, um... Oh, yes, the boyfriend. <laughs> oh, my goodness, that was a long way around there. Yeah, it was, but you know. Uh, FR. 
boyfriend. No, not the fiend. You yes, don't, you the boy may, fiend you is way better. Boy fiend. I'm just saying the boy <laughs> fiend is way better. <laughs> um, sorry, what yeah. was the director's name again? Ken uh, Russell. Ken Russell, right. Who also made Gothic, which is a crazy, crazy movie about the summer that Lord Byron and Mary Shelley and Percy Shelley um, spent all together on Lord Byron's island. It's and a terrible it's, movie. I love it. We do not agree about that movie. We don't. Okay, everybody, here we go. This is so. This is the this is the boyfriend. This was the movie I was talking about earlier, and with Twiggy and Tommy. With Toon. Twiggy and Tommy Toon. So here are some pictures. And I'm just going to show you, like, some now, of the you... completely bananas. I mean, look at that ridiculous... The gold gold holographic foil headpieces that, that light up in the light when they turn around. And I'll have you know that this entire um, sequence that you're looking at right now is a whole dance sequence that takes place on a gigantic record player on a on a turning a giant turning record. triple turning record player yeah, th three different directions it backwards forwards and backwards truly truly bananas there's the poster there's for twiggy it. this is a great like look at this this is one of the like the fantasy musical sequences okay, you know what i'm yeah. not i i don't know anything about fashion but i know that twiggy in a bias cut silk dress is pretty awesome yes it's right true. from from the 20s <laughs> Um, here's a great sequence from um, the from inside the theater. The whole thing takes place in a theater, putting on a um, a, a really version, bad a really bad of version of the, of the boyfriend. Oh, which and Marsha, what's her name? Marsha Mason. No, it's no. Who who is it? Glenda in Jackson. Glenn, oh my goodness, I just mistaked Marsha Mason. Oh, here for we Glenda go. Jackson. Here we go. You want something like? There's a crazy How scene from that? this movie. It is just. Art, 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 art. All, all like, those dancers the in the foreground are going by on like, you know, they're dancing and it's like they're going by on boats. And then she's a harlequin sitting on the moon. Yeah. So if um if you haven't seen it, there. oh my goodness, if you haven't seen it before, I mean, just check it out because it is like art on crazy art set on pieces. Art. There's a black and white fantasy uh, a satyr and nymph sequence. Yes, that takes place out in the woods. Which I believe that Tommy Toon did all the choreography for. But anyway, okay, that was so a that's a deep dive, but it's a really really good movie. Oh, Mini Fiction says it's on Prime for serious. Oh mm -hmm. man. Okay, now that is yep. like you're. I mean, if you don't like musicals or whatever, I get it. It's not for everybody, yes. and it is a little bit long. And it's the '70s, so there's lots of zooms. And there are definitely there's a couple of problematic parts. I will say that I'm just like sort of putting that out there yep. right now. Well, um, you should people should watch it with with open eyes. Yes, there are definitely some problematic parts, and um, we. I mean, I'm not going to erase that part of it, but like overall, as an art piece, it I'd is. Say. A gorgeous, gorgeous piece of like, um, just like art. A, yeah, and art, and then like a love letter to Busby Berkeley movies. I, I think. I, sorry, I'm verging on schmancy talk again here, but I think that Ken Russell is an auteur in the way that um, uh, 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 my favorite. Why am I losing yeah, him? I don't know. Stanley Kubrick is as well. They just had singular visions. They created things that no one had ever seen before. It's true. Really amazing. Cool. All right, everybody, that just about wraps it up for today. So next, next on Schmancy uh, Talk. Next on Schmancy Talk. Thank <laughs> you. Every, no, next on movie recommendations you don't care about. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Everybody, thank you so much for joining us today and for all the amazing builds, 25 mm -hmm. entries, actually 26 entries, including Wyatt. So 26, yep. and I think that's a record. It is a record. 26. That's great. Massive collaboration. Will Look we have that. more? We might. For this, I want to see how for many the street we can sweeper get. Challenge. For the street I mean, if we, if we did a run on Amazon... <laughs> Sh Moto Schmancy Talk by Seat of the Pants Productions. Exactly. <laughs> Take everything with a grain of salt.
Exactly. <laughs> so um, you so you can uh, email us always at Flynn at trickybricks.com and your that is where you will send the pictures for your challenge. They're due next Thursday in the afternoon. Yep. Um, let me see what else have we got here. Oh yeah, we got an address. We have an address, and this is super exciting because I went. I was looking at our oh, at our box today. Someone asked in the chat. What's that? There are things there we haven't been yet. Someone was asking about if we received anything in the mail. Yes, actually, I looked. So I okay. So we have this PO box, and I have it rigged up where they email me when packages are on the way. But it's oh, it's dreadful because they tell you like when yeah. the package gets sent. Not yeah. like, and then you're just like waiting for it all to arrive. Yeah, and we're kind of all still supposed to be staying home most of the time around here. Right, right. So, so I we got, don't go um, out a lot. Yeah, so I've got the um, um, Marilyn Orange Bricks wants a set. I understand. I just don't know if that if we're gonna be able to um, make that happen because now Amazon is sold out and it's Friday. Right. I mean, we can try maybe we'll, something we'll else, do our best. but we'll do our best, absolutely. Yep. But you, we need an address and um, permission uh, from an adult if that's needed. Yeah, um, thanks okay. for the heads up, Marilyn. Yes, thank you. Uh, so anyway, as I was saying, yes. yes, we have three letters and three packages on their way. The letters are already there. The packages are on the way. What, six um, pieces? Six pieces six, of mail. It's a record. Six pieces of mail. Well, I can't even wait. We're not going to show you all of them at once, though. And we'll be able to spread it out. Yep. This will be nice. Yeah, so that'll be really fun. Like a recurring feature, almost. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, this if you wanted agrees. to... Yes, she wants a job. She need, please, please help it, help keep Ms. Ms. Thing, Thing employed <laughs> by sending something to our P.O. box. <laughs> One of us needs to work, so if it's her, then that's can, fine. Can you lend a hand for a hand in need? Yes. Send a postcard. It'll give Ms. Thing something to yeah. do and something for us to share with you. Yeah, and you don't need. And again, you don't need to send us sets or pieces or anything no. like that. Just you a don't postcard. have to send us anything. Well, you we don't just have to love, send us anything. We but, just you know, love sharing stuff. A postcard, if you want to send a postcard or a letter or something fun for us to show, well, um, she definitely, um, Ms. Thing definitely appreciates. Yes. She right, says I yes. know. She needs a manicure. Yes. Um, <laughs> she, uh, uh, a manicure. She's manicure. needed a manicure for 76 episodes. Well, probably. Or however many, 74, however many she's been in. Or I don't know, um, 37 years? Like how old? I know. Oh. Who knows? A mannequin never says. It's just... Unless her name is Marsha. Marsha. <laughs> <laughs> See, we went right into the Twilight Zone there at the <laughs> same time. That took about... I think two and a half seconds for us both to process Twilight Zone mannequin Marsha. Well, I can't ever hear a mannequin without hearing that voice. Marsha. Marsha. Oh, oh my goodness. that was a great Twilight Zone episode. It was. But I don't know that we have time to get there because we've already kept you over. I know long. we've already kept everybody yep. long. So uh, don't forget we are off tomorrow because it's Saturday, but we will be back on, um, Sunday. on Sunday for our group chat. Uh, with our with our regular wonderful special guests and maybe some yep. other people will stop by. I don't know. It's Sundays are uh, sort of an open book. And really. so if you do want to send us anything, a heads up. It's Flynn and Richard, P.O. Box one one five one seven, Oakland, California nine four six one one. You were supposed to race to catch up with me, <gasps> Sorry, and I then was... I was gonna win. It was gonna be hilarious. I was too busy um, looking at Brickanisa saying uh, Ms. Thing's human name is Marsha. Well, she, oh. you know, we did talk about we did talk about uh, we did talk about Ms. Thing. Yeah, um, being a uh, um, that being her stage name, but maybe it's Ms. Marsha. Right, Thing. because I. I, I mean, so. honestly, she used to be part of an entire mannequin in the living room whose name, I think, is Cersei. I, know, I, I think, think it's so. going to kill us for Other, Otherwise known one night. as herself. Um, yeah, I yeah, know. Thing. Masha Thing. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yes, exactly. Wow, we have gone Marcia. down. All um, right. Well, I um, got to get to work myself uh yeah so christopher we don't usually open mail on sundays but we we, we do open mail on the weekdays i just don't like to open mail on sundays because you know we have other people here and the focus is on what we're all talking about but definitely yeah. on um, monday we can't wait 
Yeah, and, and Christopher, I know you have packages coming. I saw your email, and one of them, I think, is supposed to arrive today, and then another one in the... That's in the so, thing, so exciting. Yeah. Thank you. I can't wait. All right, everybody. We will see you Sunday. Um, thank you so much, and uh, uh, be sure that you stay safe, stay healthy, wash, wash your hands, hands, wear your mask, happy Pride weekend, and we will see you on Sunday. All right. All the things. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.